Hi, this is Mona Lisa. In today's video, we are going to talk about an AI tool that can help you generate talking heads like me. This is completely free and works with eight different languages. Stay tuned till the end of this video to see a complete tutorial on how this is done. Also, if this is your first time to this channel, I want to welcome you and recommend you subscribe to my AI newsletter. The link is in the description. The tool that was used to generate that video is called Vidnos Talking Head, and I used this image of Mona Lisa to generate that video. Now, Vidnos is a video marketing company, and they have a bunch of different products such as text to speech, screen recorder, and talking head, which is new. And this specific product is completely free to use. I personally have a premium account with them, but you don't need to do that. You can just type your text here, choose your language and your voice gender, and either select one of the pictures that they have provided or upload your own image. I'm gonna show all the steps that are needed. Let's talk about a few use cases where this might be useful to you. The first thing I wanna talk about is the main use cases they are gearing this product towards. So it's aimed at providing a face to some marketing communications or video. Also, if you're doing some kind of a YouTube video which is faceless and you wanna add some kind of a character to that video which lip syncs to the script that is being read on the video, this is a really useful tool to use. Now, personally, even though I have a faceless channel, it's kind of a different category of faceless channel as opposed to some other ones out there. For example, I'm not reading from a script. Most of the videos that I'm doing is in-depth analysis or in-depth explanations of different products. So a talking head on the corner of my video would not add much value. But if you're doing a presentation of some sort, maybe you're explaining the different kinds of volcanoes on a YouTube video, which is being read from a script, then that would be really useful to have some kind of a character on the side which seems to be an educator teaching you about the different kinds of volcanoes. So I think if you are trying to create some kind of a faceless social media presence where having a speaking character on the corner of the video would add value to your video, then I think this is a really good product to try out. And since this is completely free, I think it's definitely worth giving a shot. Now for today's video, I'm gonna try three different characters geared towards three different audiences, and you're gonna see how they may or may not be applicable to you. Before doing that, let me go over this interface a little bit. It's actually pretty simple. If you click on this dropdown, you can select the language of your script, and if you have the script in English and choose something like Portuguese, it will be English spoken, but with a Portuguese accent. You can also choose among a male or female voice, but if you mix it up and have your photo of a female and create a male voice, that will generate the relevant results also. You're also limited to 500 characters for each video generation, and since this is free and available to everybody, I think that is fair. If you come in the bottom here and click on this timer, you can select the speed of the actual speech. I personally prefer to have the speech at 1.2x, so it sounds a bit more conversational. If you choose the speed at 1x or 0.8x, it sounds more like a video or a character reading something from a document. And as you see, there's a bunch of preset photos that you can choose already. But if you wanna use your own picture or some other picture, you can use this upload photo option. And there are some specific requirements that needs to be met for this to work. For example, here it needs to be a clear front face image. There needs to be no obstruction on that face. Ideally, there should be no cartoon face. Image size should be limited to 10 megabytes and the image resolution limited to 2560 by 1440. If you wanna hear a preview of what the video script sounds like, you can click this button right here. That'll play the audio before you start generating the video. And when you're ready and happy with your script and your picture, you can click generate video right here. And that will send you an email when the video is ready. It usually takes a few minutes, but it does require you to have your account set up. You can just create a free account for this and the link is in the description below. Now to generate a script, I can either type this myself, but today I'm gonna to use Bard to generate a script for me. To get started, I'm gonna say, explain me AI as if I was five years old. Okay, I have a script about AI. I have selected this person to be my first character. I have my language set to English and my voice is to be male. 
and I'm going to select certain parts of the script to match my character count. So let me take this paragraph right here and paste it there. And how about this one in the end? Okay, so it got to 499 characters, which is less than 500. That's perfect. And everything else is the same. I'm going to keep my speed to 1.2x and the language as English and the voices as male and click generate video. It says this video is being sent to my registered email in the minutes and please check and download later. All right, I have my video ready. Let's see how he sounds like. Artificial intelligence AI is a way of making computers think like people. It's not as smart as a person yet, but it's getting better all the time. AI is used in all sorts of things like self-driving cars, voice assistants, and even games. AI is a powerful tool that can be used for good or for bad. It's important to be aware of the potential dangers of AI, but it's also important to be excited about the possibilities. AI has the potential to make our lives easier, safer, and more productive. All right, I think the lip syncing worked pretty well. There is some lack of movement in the head and the eyes, but I think that might be useful if you want to place this character on the side of a video, which does not distract too much. And this will just speak out as if a person is talking to you, but not make a lot of random movements. Next, I'm going to upload a photo, but I'm going to use an AI generated character. So this will be a character which does not exist exist yet. And I have already made a video about this in the past. So every time you refresh it, it's going to generate a new character. And this is completely AI generated because these people are not real. So if you want to have some kind of a social media presence and you want to make sure that the person you use for your pictures will not have any copyright issues, I think this is a good place to get your face. So from my tests, I have noticed that if you use a character with the lip closed like this, it works better than if you have someone with their teeth showing or smiling like this. So if you use a face which has a lot of teeth, sometimes the lip does not close and the lip syncing looks pretty weird. So I recommend using a face or a photo, even if it's yourself, to not be smiling. So something like this, where they have their lips closed. So I'm gonna use the image of this lady right here, take a screenshot, and then upload that picture from my computer. Okay, so I have my face ready to go. Let me change the script a little bit. Tell me the basics of machine learning. Okay, I have some more text to use. Let me paste it right there. Okay, this is 466 characters. I have this person. And this time, maybe I'm going to change the language to see if the accent changes and how that works out. I'm going to switch this to Spanish and make the voice female and change the speed a bit faster. Let me try 1.4x this time and click generate video. All right, this video will be sent to my email again. Machine learning is a of artificial intelligence and data use software applications to be come more accurate and predicting what is written on the index PC3 program method also. Machine learning algorithms use historical data and post to predict and compute values. Machine learning is a rapidly growing field with many potential applications. As the technology continues to develop, we can accept those machine learning use in even more ways in the future. All right, the only thing I understood there is her trying to say machine learning, but I think it's best when you have your script in the language which matches the language from the dropdown. So that did not work out the way I thought it would, but she did sound Spanish to me. And if you're a native Spanish speaker, add a comment to see how well she sounded. All right, for the last test, I'm going to use this character, which I generated in one of my previous videos of Leonardo AI. This was when I was trying out the AI canvas and I generated this whole scene from scratch, including this character. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this character first, just her face to see how it works out. 
all right i think that should be enough and now i can upload this photo and it does say no cartoon face so i'm curious to see how this photo is taken let me try something else this time and say tell me about the origin of the vikings all right it says the vikings were a group of seafaring people who originated from scandinavia let me change the language here change that to Swedish. There seems to be some issues with Bard when I'm trying to switch the language. Let me try the good old Google Translate and change this to Swedish. And I'm gonna change the language to Swedish this time because I think she looks a bit Swedish to me. So I wanted to try this out using a Swedish script with a female voice and I'm gonna change the speed to normal speed this time. And I'm gonna see how this generation works out. It says the video will be sent to my email. Perfect. I have my video ready for this character which I generated using an AI art tool called Leonardo AI. And this script which was generated using Google Bart and translated using Google Translate. Let's see how this came out. Vikingarna var en djup sjöfarare som kom från Skandinavien som nu är Danmark. Norge och Sverige då var akviva från slutet av betalet till slutet av betalet. Och där sakvittet stäckte sig från plundring och hade till att utforska och kolonisera nya länder vilket inga tiden tog ut i slutet av betalet. Men vilket inga nasar fortsätter att märka sig idag. All right, that does sound pretty foreign. I don't know if that is true Swedish. But if you're a Swedish speaker, add a comment to see how that came out. For me, I'm pretty happy with the result. And I think this is especially useful if you try to make different language versions of your social media presence. For example, if you have your main YouTube channel in English and you want to create a Swedish presence or a Spanish presence of that channel, get the script from your own video in English, then edit it and translate it into a different language, and then use Vidnos to create a talking head avatar, which will lip sync the entire script on your video as a Swedish person or a Spanish person. Now that's all I have for you in this video. I hope you got some value from it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe to my AI newsletter and YouTube channel and click like on this video. Till the next one, thank you so much.